Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look now at two unusual things which are not often used, so we're going to have a bit of explanation with them, and that is using the channel mixer and the LAB color profile methods. So let's have a look. So first of all, let's go to channel mixer. And what the channel mixer does, and because this word channel, that means that in a pixel you've got red, green and blue, and the red, green and blue are each separate channels. They've got little values and you can turn them up or down. Typically they're not to 255 if you've got an 8-bit system, or to 5535 if it's 16-bit, which you can often do. Okay, so when we've got this here, if I see red, what this says is of those three, red, green and blue, you're only going to change the red within that. So that's the channel. Then the other thing is if I change this, so if I move this up and down here, you can see that it is changing. This is the red within the red, so it, this is now looking for red. If I change this one here, and then it's because red is here, I'm changing the red pixels. So if I do this now with green, now look what happens. I'm still going to change red, but it's going to look for green first and then change the red within where there is more green proportionally. So it looks at every pixel, but the more green there is, the more change it makes. So if I turn this up now, and note I'm going to put this up to 100% here, but you can see overall it's gone a bit more overall red for this. So what you can do is to retain the, the if you like, the colour balance, the whiteness of it, and if you bring this down here, I'm going to turn this down to minus 100, and you can roll the mouse wheel here to get the exact amount. Now those add all add up to 100%. And as you can see here, it looks fairly sensible colouring. You can see the whites are still white, but we've got this effect here where red has been changed. Where there is green, it's turned it up so there's more red. So it's adding more red into the green to make it orange there and there's the blue has gone down where there is red so i'm taking the red out of the sky which makes it more blue so first of all then to do color grading you can play with these the red green and blue like this but just to be different today we're going to look at the lab so i'm just going to reset this go down here to lab so what are these l, l stands for lightness that's pretty straightforward and you turn it up and you can turn it down so it goes lighter and darker. Interestingly, it doesn't go wholly white or black. And you can actually use these things effects here. So the offset pushes the whole thing one way or another. A opponent and B opponent are a bit more weird, but they're based on the opponent process model, which is the way that the eye works when it takes its like RGB sensors and sends it back to the brain. It sort of encodes it this way. So A opponent, again, to see what it looks like, if you turn this one up here, so when it goes up, it goes kind of magenta. And when it goes down, it goes more green. Those are kind of opposites on the colour circle, aren't they? On the colour wheel. And on B opponent, if I turn this one up, it goes more yellow. And down, it goes more blue. And those are kind of opposites too. So there's not perfectly those, you know, the, the green, magenta, yellow, blue. But that's just a good way of thinking about it. Right, so let's just do, first of all, the one here with lightness. So the first thing I can do is going to make it a bit darker. I could turn the lightness down here. It goes darker here, but the colours are kind of look, doesn't look realistic because the colours being retained. So, but what I can do is turn down the A opponent and the B opponent. If I turn them both, both down to 50%, then what I'm going to get here is a kind of more realistic darkening. 50%, there you go. So overall, this is dark. What you do find with this as well is, actually, I can only just, turn, if I turn down one, it still looks okay with this. And you can also just use the offset on this. So I can also turn this down. That's a very quick way then of darkening a picture whilst keeping it, the colours looking sensible. So this could be like an evening shot or where it's dark. So that's a good way of darkening a picture. Secondly, I'm going to move things these two together now. Notice only changing lightness here. But what, look what happens is if I turn up the A opponent and turn down the A opponent, B opponent, let's go down to 100 there. Now you can see what's happened here 
is the leaves here of green. We can turn this on the note. So off, on, off, on. So the, the leaves have gone darker. And I've also, what's happened here is the red's going slightly lighter and the blue's going lighter as well. So what I can do now is if I want to take one of those and just say I just want to have the, the greens darker, I can use a blend mode. And I just go to the darken blend mode. And now the the reds and the blues are not changed, but the greens are, because those are the darkening that's happening. So I turn that on and off. So I'll see I've just got darkening of the greens. So if I reset that and go the other way around, what if I go A to minus 100 and B to plus 100 and see what happens here? No, look, we've got it's kind of the opposite effect, perhaps unsurprisingly. Now the leaves are lighter and the blues and reds are a bit darker. So before, yes, yeah, so before and after. So again, if I wanted to just make the leaves lighter, then I could go down to the blend mode here and turn this to lighten. The other thing you can do is to control it is if the, the effect is too bright, you know, it's too much, then you can just turn the opacity down and then gradually turn it up here. You can use this control here, but as you can see there, this is changed as well. So they're exactly the same control. So now let's try going to A opponent. And I'm going to turn the A down to zero and the B up to 100. So we're getting a reverse effect to see what happens. And now what we've got is a kind of, it's a, it's, it's like that we did without the red, but look, this is actually a much nicer orange here. So this is a good thing. And with this, you might do something like, say, an overlay, like which gives you a slightly brown tinge or a soft light to give it. So that's, that's kind of autumn effect. Or you can just, again, just turn the opacity down to whatever level you want of that. And again, you can also use the dark and light and blend modes. Now then, if I reset that, now if I turn A opponent up and B opponent down to 100, this is a bit weird now. I got because he got some unnatural happenings, which is the sky going a bit magenta. But you can again do something like an overlay with it, and look at the effect you're getting there. So that's before and after. And again, you can change the opacity, or you can use a soft light blend mode. So let's reset that. Let's try B opponent. Now, if I put the A up to 100 here and B the opponent down here, what I've got now is the sky's gone grey and these two have gone cyan. So what can we do with that? Again, look for blend modes. So if I put a soft light on that, look at this before and after. So you just kind of like nice grading effect there. And again, I can go up and down with this, or if can it goes to go back to the normal blend mode and just use the opacity to control it to add that little bit extra into that. So reset that and it will try one more here, which is if I put the A down 100 and B up 100. Now I've got the blue is accentuated even round areas like this. So again, I just might turn that down a bit and just turn it up. So if I want to pull out the blues, look at what's happening here. So there we've got it, a number of different ways that you can use the channel mixer and the LAB mode to do some pretty quick changes to the color grading of a picture. That's it. And thank you very much for watching.